Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I thought I would share some of my all-time favorite movies. Now, I talk about majority books on this channel, um, but I have talked about TV shows as well because I do really enjoy getting into TV shows and kind of getting into those worlds <laughs> and um, spending a lot of time with characters and stuff. So I do really enjoy TV shows a lot. I do enjoy movies as well. I don't watch movies as much as I would watch a TV show, but I definitely have before. My husband and I, when we were first married, before we had kids and we could do these things, we would go to the movies every weekend <laughs> and just go see something. Um, so that was one of our favorite things to do was to go to the movies. And I, we still do not nearly as much because number one, we can't afford it. Oh my gosh. You have to like take out a second mortgage to take your family to the movies nowadays. But <laughs> we, um, we still do enjoy doing that every once in a while. Um, and we do watch movies at home as well. So I just thought I would share some of my favorites. Uh, this was requested as well when I was asking you guys for video ideas. Um, a couple of you guys asked for favorite movies. So here we go. My favorite movie of all time. I have an answer. <laughs> is Romeo and Juliet, which is the Leonardo and Claire version. I love that movie with my whole heart. For me, I love the story of Romeo and Juliet anyway. I've read, you know, I've read the play. I've seen the older movie as well. I just love the story of Romeo and Juliet. And then seeing it adapted in this way, which was so unique and creative it blew me away when I saw it in the theaters. This came out when I was in high school and it's just, oh, it's so beautifully shot and just really grabs your attention. Mercutio, mm, <laughs> he was so good. Oh my gosh. And just the chemistry between Leo and Claire was incredible. The soundtrack Oh my gosh, the soundtrack was amazing as well. And I just, I love every single aspect of that movie. It it was done so, so, so well. And to this day is my favorite movie. Moving on to another favorite is Titanic. I'm seeing a Leonardo DiCaprio theme here <laughs> happening, but I love that movie too. That one, I went and saw that movie in theaters three times three times, I think in one week or a week and a half, something like that. That's a three hour movies, you guys. Like when I bought it on VHS, VHS, <laughs> it came on two tapes because it wasn't long enough to fit on one tape. <laughs> you had to watch to the end of the first tape and then you had to switch to the second tape. Oh my goodness. It was so long, but I love that movie. And that really got me interested in the history of the Titanic and what happened. And I really kind of got a little obsessive over it for a little while and just wanting to learn all about it and the actual people that were there. And I was watching all the things and looking up all the articles and reading books about it. And just, I, I totally went there with uh, the whole Titanic thing. And it was because of that movie. And again, I think that one was so beautifully shot and it was just, oh, it took my breath away when I watched it. And to this day, if someone wanted to sit down and watch Titanic, I would sit down and watch it with them. <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, yeah, I just, I love that movie. Another big time favorite of mine is Top Gun. The original. I love this movie. Now, I grew up <laughs> around fighter pilots. My father was a fighter pilot. We were living overseas when this movie came out. And I remember watching this movie in the O Club, so the Officers Club, because we would go there with my parents. And I remember it being on a screen, like they, like a projector screen. They would play the movie that way. They were, like, whatever version of it they were able to get a hold of, it was projected on a screen. And we would just sit around, like the whole room would just sit around and watch it. And it played a lot. <laughs> so um, I would always leave the room when Goose died because I didn't like that part. <laughs> um, but I remember watching it just in a group full of fighter pilots. That's, that's an experience. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, but I love that movie. Oh my gosh. That movie still just like gives me chills when I watch it. Um, it's one that really holds up. And I did see Maverick, the newer version that came out 
more recently and I loved it too. I thought it, it was such a love letter to the first one. I thought it was fantastic. Um, not as good as the first one. I definitely prefer the first one over the newer one, but it was still such a great nod to the first one that I thought they did it wonderfully. And I love it. Speaking of good soundtracks, that first one, amazing soundtrack. Another movie that holds up really, really well that is definitely a favorite of mine is Jurassic Park. Oh man, I watched that when it was first coming out. I remember watching it and just being in awe of how real those dinosaurs looked. <laughs> I was like, how do they do this? I was just blown away. And then um, didn't like number two. I didn't, I didn't feel like number two was the same caliber as number one at all. And number three, I don't even remember number three. I'm sure I watched it. I'm pretty positive. I watched all of the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World movies. I just, I don't even remember number three, but I am positive I watched it. But that one holds up the first one. Uh, we watched the first one with our girls a few years ago and my husband and I were both really impressed. <laughs> we both kind of went, this holds up. Like this is an older movie. This is from the nineties, but this really holds up. Um, and we all really enjoyed it. My girls loved it. Um, they've watched the Jurassic world as well. Um, so like we're all into the Jurassic park and Jurassic world and everything, but yeah, I think they, they do that so well. And those dinosaurs legitimately look so real. Like they give me goosebumps when I see them. So that's a great movie franchise. Okay, I do want to talk about some like book to movie adaptations that I really definitely enjoy. Some of them are going to be franchises um, and then some will be just singles, but obviously Harry Potter. <laughs> it's, it's hard to fit Harry Potter into movies because of how much happens in those books, especially the later books because they're this big and there's so much that happens. But the movies were really, really done well. They, they really paid homage to the books in a great way. And all the important things from the books are in the movies in some way, shape or form. They make it in there for sure. Um, obviously there's the whole things that are deleted and, you know, things like that, but not enough to make like a huge difference. But, you know, you think about Harry Potter and you, you see Daniel Radcliffe in your head, right? <laughs> so definitely made such a huge impact on that franchise. And I thought the movies were fantastic. Same goes for The Hunger Games. Those movies were fantastic as well. I thought they were really great. Um, and I feel like they were really, really close to the books. I don't remember any huge changes happening from the books to the movies. It's been a very long time since I've read the books. But um, yeah, I think they're great. And I watched Hunger Games with uh, Kaylin recently. She wanted to watch the first movie and we did watch that and she really liked it. So um yeah, that one is a, I think the adaptation was a great nod to the books as well. A single one, uh, so just one movie, not necessarily a franchise, but The Help was fantastic. I love The Help. That is such a fantastic book. And when I went and saw the movie in theaters, I was a little like, <laughs> whenever books get adapted, I get a little scared. I get a little bit afraid that something's going to be ruined or it's not going to be the same. It's not going to give me the same feelings as when I read the book and I'm like, it scares me a little bit, but man, the help was so good. And I think it's because they cast the exact right people to play those parts. Oh my gosh, Minnie, I can't even with her. <laughs> she was so phenomenal and really just gave life to her character in such a great way. And I just, I remember like finishing that movie and going, wow, that was really good for a book that I absolutely loved. So it was great. Then a little interesting opinion for me is Lord of the Rings. I've read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I've also watched Lord of the Rings. I watched the movies first before I read the books. I, I definitely watched the movies when they were coming out and I've watched them multiple times. Um, I read the books a couple of years ago. Oh gosh, I think we were in Florida still when I read the books. So it's, it's been a couple of years, but you know, definitely much longer time after I watched the movie. So I knew, I knew Lord of the Rings. I knew the story, all that stuff from the movies, but decided to tackle the books. And I, I didn't enjoy the books even close to as much as I enjoyed the movies. <laughs> and I, I don't think it's because I watched the movies first. I think it's just because when I read the books, there was a lot in the books that didn't need to 
be in there to the point where I was, I was definitely getting bored in certain points. I just felt like it was too detailed and I was getting lost in the details along the way. Definitely. I like the first one the best. Um, that one, um, was my favorite of the three, but you know, yeah. So I definitely prefer the movies over the books as far as Lord of the Rings goes. However, The Hobbit is opposite. I read The Hobbit at the same time that I read Lord of the Rings. Actually, Krista and I did a whole, um, we did a Lord of the Read Along <laughs> and we read The Hobbit and then we read the three books together. And I read the book. I watched the movies. Actually, this is another one where I watched the movies first and then I read the book. I didn't enjoy the movies. I did not. Number one, it did not need to be three movies. I remember watching the movies and I'm going, I'm getting bored. <laughs> like, this is getting a little boring. Um, it, it felt very, very drawn out and just not necessary to have three. They could have made the entire Hobbit book into one movie and been totally fine. And it would have been fast paced and action packed and all the stuff that's supposed to be and all the things that, that were in the book were in there. Those spiders, oh my god. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> the spiders were so creepy. Um, and smog was fantastic. But it didn't need to be three movies. Like we didn't need that. And I just, I really preferred the book over the movie for sure. I loved The Hobbit. Oh my gosh, that was a five-star read. I absolutely loved that book. And it's interesting because I'm just complete opposite of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Whereas Lord of the Rings, I prefer the movies over the books, but The Hobbit, I prefer the book over the movies. So it's an interesting standpoint. Okay, guys, those were some of my favorite movies of all time. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know some of your favorite movies. I would love to know that. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.